So when building our GBTs, we have the ability to add custom actions, and it seems like OpenAI actually released a new GBT specialized for this. So we're gonna go ahead and try out this action GBT created by ChatGBT, or in reality, OpenAI, and see its capabilities, and basically, see if it actually is useful. Welcome back, y'all. In today's video, we're gonna be connecting a very cool little API here called Pokey API. I'm gonna approach this video though as if I have no API experience, like basically try to communicate with it. Also, I'm gonna show you strategies in order to basically get better outputs with this GBT because I doubt it's gonna be perfect on a first go. If it is, then that is gonna be a big plus. Also, make sure to be following me on Twitter here as you're gonna get notifications of videos coming out. Also, if you can watch the videos on Twitter if you prefer that kind of content rather than being on YouTube and just random stuff for me. Let's jump into today's video. So this probably got released maybe a week or two ago, but basically it looks like GBTs now have a action GBT that allows us to talk to it for the context of adding custom actions. Let's go ahead and gut check this. So supposedly all we need to do is provide documentation and it handles the rest. As a brief overview real quick, basically custom actions allow us to access software outside of ChatGBT to do certain actions, certain functions. If you wanna dive deeper into this context, for example, if you wanna learn how to do API key, an OAuth, Check out the playlist at the end here as I show you very specific examples of how to approach these very specific topics. For this video though, let's just see if this action GPT is any good. So what I'm gonna do is basically just provide this link. I'm gonna, I'm gonna copy this. And what Pokey API does as well is basically it lists a bunch of Pokemon, kind of in the name, and also gives information on relevant Pokemon that you asked for. So in this context, it has ditto. This is gonna be our gut check. I'm simply gonna ask this, and I'm gonna move over here. I'm gonna say, okay, can we set up a custom action using this to search for a specific Pokemon. So in this context, I'm going to be very layman in the beginning here. I'm not gonna use any terminology that I would typically use in the context of API, just to see if like how good this is. Like if I just talk to it like a human, like, hey, I just wanna use this API documentation and I wanna find a search a, cer a certain Pokemon. I wanna see if it actually is able to give me like relevant information and actually good code. As a side note, if you're having issues with the browsing feature, there actually has been an update. So you can check out a video that I just made yesterday in why you get errors while browsing and a solution to that. Okay, so when I had to search for the documentation using the browsing feature, it provided me with this schema here. Let's see if it works. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna come back over to ChatGPT here. I'm gonna paste it and kind of proceed from there. Did it work? Okay, okay, action GBT. It seems like we do need to proctor it a little bit more here. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed as if I have no, oh, it's right below me. I'm gonna go ahead and proceed as if I have no experience here and just kind of maybe troubleshoot in this context. So I'm just gonna copy this. I'm gonna come back over to Action GBT here. I'm gonna be like, okay, I pasted it into my GBT and got this error. And the purpose of me showing you doing, basically the purpose of showing this is I wanna give you tools and, abil and capabilities in order how to counteract when you come into issues in this context if you have no experience in this context. Therefore, let's just keep communicating with ChatGBT in a human-like manner in order to get better code. So as you see here, by providing you a very specific error, I'm going to go ahead and get a new proctoring and new code relevant to this. Supposedly, they fixed it here. I'm going to copy again, come back over to ChatGBT and paste. Let's see. Okay, so far so good. So we got a new schema. And if you want to understand whether you need an authentication or not, that just comes down to basically looking at the documentation. We could probably even go further and actually ask ChatGPT whether it needs a key or not. But in this context, we don't need a key. Treat it like a, like a weather type API. Moved myself to the middle here and we have completed step one. Step two, we need to make sure we tailor our underlying GBT to even understand what it's doing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just basically say, okay, your purpose, if I can even spell today, Purpose is to find Pokemon using our custom action. I'm gonna paste the actual name of the custom action here and let's see what it comes up with. Okay, so, so far so good. It went ahead and tailored it for this specific custom action. I'm gonna just say, give me a name for this and image. So this is certain stuff we have to basically fill in in order to even start using the GBT and saving the GBT, stuff like this. All right, perfect, so it gave me a nice little image here. I'm gonna say yes to the name, keep on proceeding here. This is just filling out all the relevant information that we need to fill out in order to save. And I think I'm gonna have to add, yes, I'm gonna have to add a URL to the custom action um, real quick as well. Okay, perfect, so I'm gonna go ahead and go back over to the name here. We'll just go ahead and name it ourselves. We'll say Pokey or Poke. And I'm gonna go down to the custom action. I'm gonna hit this little gear. Make sure I move over here real quick. 
and put in the just our web cafe software privacy policy that is fine only me confirm okay let's see this thing in action so i'm going to go back out here and there we go i'm actually going to do it in the actual editor itself as you'll see it looks like a little bit of a debug thing we have now doing the editor now actually shows a debug message which is really great for us as this will allow us to basically understand if there is an issue that appears so i'm gonna go ahead and use their example which is purely just ditto i'm gonna say can you tell me if i can even type my gosh can you tell me ditto and we should see a nice little debug here basically sending the data and what this is basically is showing the data that's being sent to the underlying uh, software and it's endpoint so i'm gonna hit start action here and we'll get all the relevant information here and we should get a response there we go response received whoa that's a lot <laughs> okay so this this api sends a ton of data as you see if i click that open you'll see all of this i'm gonna go ahead and zoom that back out but it worked okay so here is my opinion on action gbt it works it seems like it's pretty effective you could also use um the one we created here which was basically showing you how to get data files and uh helping you with api as well there's one we created here at corbin ai so you can check that out in the playlist that you're about to see right now it's the very first video but it works now that being said the reason I showed you the way I troubleshooted right here is due to the fact that sometimes you can go down paths and it'll actually edit and help itself and give you the correct code. That being said, I will say if you try that method four or five times and it keeps giving you errors, refresh the chat, restart the direction, delete everything and start from step one again. When you keep running into errors in this context and it's happened five times in a row and you keep giving it like the new error message and it seems to be like not working, starting a fresh slate that means that the gbt has going down a rabbit hole and basically there's some type of fundamental step in the very beginning that it messed up on but it, it doesn't realize it and therefore it just keeps going down that rabbit hole that being said though make sure you leave a like if you feel like you learned something today make sure to subscribe as we're gonna be diving into a ton of stuff when it comes to gbt's coming here soon i'll see you in the next video thanks for tuning in and yes surprise i'm an ai avatar make sure to explore more here at corbin ai where we demystify AI for your personal and business life. Until next time.